She's boiling and dipping for Halloween. -y. Cassidy delicious is trying not to make a huge mess in her apartment, but it already happened, and she's also making something sweet. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn, and welcome to another episode of Cassidy delicious Spooky Halloween edition. Orange and black nails means it's gonna get real spooky. Especially because I didn't do a very good job. This is the show where I, Cassidy, attempt to cook things. But this time this is actually part of a collaborative video playlist Halloween-y thing. There's this group of YouTubers called YouTube Creators, no, what's it called? YouTube Creators Meetup and Meetup. Is that what it's called? YouTube Creators and Meetup. So a big group of us are all putting out a Halloween themed DIY video on the same day at the same time and that means there's a playlist of a bunch of fun Halloween-y videos you can watch. I'm gonna put it in the cards somewhere here and then I'm also gonna put the link down below so go watch them. Today I am making one of my favorite things that has been my favorite thing for as long as I can remember. Caramel apples. I don't know when I discovered caramel apples but as soon as I did I knew that I would love them forever. Caramel apples might be my soulmate. Quite possibly. When I was a child, I would do pretty much anything for a caramel apple. Luckily, no creepers ever came up to me and were like, hey kid, come get in my van, I have a caramel apple for ya. Because I have zero doubt that I would have gotten right in. We used to have contests with me and my friends of who could get out of a hot tub in their bathing suit and do a snow angel on actual snow and the person who could do it the longest got a caramel apple. And who always won? Me. Obviously. But I don't think I've ever actually made caramel apples by myself. Will it work? I don't know. Stay tuned. This recipe I found calls these basic caramel apples. So number one, they should be easy, right? And number two, who doesn't want to be basic in the fall? I mean, I'm wearing flannel. I have skinny jeans on. I drank a pumpkin spice latte a couple days ago. We take a baking sheet and we line it with parchment paper. First step is opening it. We take our apples and place them on to the baking sheet. Then we take our handy dandy sticks, stick them into the top of the apple. I'm very sorry. This probably doesn't feel very comfortable. Samurai! <laughs> These sticks are way too long, but what am I supposed to do about it at this point? Now supposedly we're supposed to create an ice bath in a bowl with water and ice. I have no idea where this is going. Next, we're gonna put all of our carm ingredients, all the stuff that goes in the caramel, into here. This is where things might start to get sticky. Two cups of packed light brown sugar. Packed means you like squish it down so that they all become friends together. They get really close. Oh, we need more. Sometimes when you pack things together like this, it starts to look like less than it originally did. And that is why you don't conform, kids. Because when you start conforming with everybody else and getting together, then you start losing a bit of yourself. Did that make sense? Heavy cream. Pour that on there. Dark corn syrup. Now this is some healthy stuff. It's made of corn. But seriously, this looks disgusting. Into the pan. Then some unsalted butter which was in my freezer, so... Let it go, let it go! Get it? Frozen? It says we need a little bit of kosher salt, but I had regular salt. I mean, how different could it be? It's salt. Now we just put this onto medium-high heat on a stove and bring it to a boil. And what do we do while we wait? Hey guys, where did the apple go to take a shower? To the caramel wash! <laughs> Where did the caramel apple go when his computer was broken? The caramel apple store! <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. What was the apple's favorite thing to do for a night on the town? Go to caramel yoki! That did not work. Are you boiling yet? What's a caramel apple's favorite season? Fall, obviously. What's an apple's favorite thing to dress up as on Halloween? An apple lantern! <laughs> it's like a jack-o'-lantern, but an apple lantern. How would you make that? Serious question, why does the recipe call for unsalted butter, but also added salt? What does a caramel order at a bar? 
An apple teeny! <laughs> What's an apple's favorite Halloween party game? Bobbing for humans. <laughs> what do you call an apple dressed up for a fancy party? Sparkling cider! <laughs> oh my god, it's boiling and it's boiling over! Oh no! Oh, this is not good! Oh my god, you're going over the sink! Guys, this is really bad. There's like caramel everywhere. Oh my god. There is caramel all inside the burner. Oh my god. We're gonna put it all in here. Choosing to think positive. So now that our caramel has very clearly been brought to a boil, we are supposed to let it cook until it has reached 250 degrees. But I don't have a candy thermometer. Didn't want to buy one just for the sake of one time. But it says it should take like 10 minutes. Dear Carmel, you are so beautiful, but you have created such a mess of my kitchen. Dear Carmel, I can't wait to eat you, but I could wait forever to clean up this mess. I probably will wait forever, and then it will be stuck to everything in my apartment. The caramel will harden and it'll stick to my clothes. It'll get in my hair and get in between my toes. Okay, yep, there actually is caramel on the floor getting in between my toes. Yo, caramel, you're so sweet. I'd love to stick an apple in you and eat all of the gooey gooey goodness in me. And then tomorrow, the dentist I'll see to make sure my teeth don't rot and rot. But hey, I really like caramel apples a lot. Are you done yet? So it's been about 10 minutes. I'm hoping this is at 250 degrees. Oh, mm, yep, feels hot. But the next step is to put the bottom of the pan into our ice bath. So I'm gonna transfer the caramel back into our original saucepan. You are good for something. What happened to my GoPro? Stop it, this is the worst time. We're literally about to actually make the caramel apples and you're not working. Okay, I think we're back in action after a slight uh, mental breakdown by the GoPro. Get it together! Unfortunately, this means that the caramel has definitely cooled off probably a lot and I have no idea what temperature it is because again, I don't have a candy thermometer. I'm gonna heat it up for like five minutes. But I mean, realistically, how much could the temperature of the caramel really matter? If it covers the apple and sticks to the apple and tastes delicious. Come on, I don't have all day. Ah. Whoa, my ceiling is dirty over here. I have never looked at that until now. We're just gonna say that this is hot enough. Put the pan in here for a few seconds because it does something. Now it's time for the fun part. And by fun part, I mean I am terrified. Let the caramel appling commence! Here goes nothing. Put you in there, roll you around, and back on the pan you go! Hey, that didn't seem too difficult. Oh, there's a lot of caramel oozing out around the apple. Did I do something wrong? I feel like this caramel doesn't look very thick on here. Maybe I heated it up too much? Okay, so I did what every internet-y person does when something doesn't work. I googled it, and apparently there's some other way that you can figure out the temperature of caramel, kind of, using cold water, and I don't know. I tried it, and if it gets hotter and hotter, it gets thicker and more caramely. Dipping apples, take two. Oh, that is some thick caramel. I can already tell this is working out a lot better. You are beautiful! Okay, so that is what they look like right now, but I think we need to spice them up a little bit, or actually sweeten them up even more. This is where our candy corn comes in, because right now, these look a little too healthy to me. I can never decide whether I love or hate candy corn. It's kinda delicious. I don't know. So I'm going to attempt to make little jack-o'-lantern-y faces. Okay, this is working out. Okay, you guys are going to have such cute little faces until I eat you and your face will be gone. Oh, look at them! These are so adorable. I mean, they're not perfect and there's like a whole pool of caramel underneath them, but who cares? So now we're supposed to put them in the refrigerator for a few minutes to set and get cool. Because everybody wants to be cool, especially on Halloween. Is there room in my fridge? 
Not really. Now, you can obviously stick whatever kind of candy you want to these caramel apples. This is actually a great project for after Halloween when you have a ton of extra candy that you need to do something with. Just stick it to the apples. That's my new motto for life. Got a bad report card at school? Stick it to the apples. Boyfriend dumped you? Stick it to the apples. Insert horrible thing that could happen to your life here? Stick it to the apples. Okay guys, I think it's been about 10 minutes and even if it hasn't, I am so done with waiting. It is time for the ultimate taste test. Holy moly, that is a lot of caramel. Now it looks like an upside down jack-o-lantern with a Donald Trump toupee of caramel. I don't even know where to grab it. Three, two, one. Mmm, it's very sticky, but definitely, wait. You can't say it. Cassidelicious. Mmm. Very yummy. I haven't even eaten dinner yet, but I don't know if I'll need to after this. Mmm. 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 Oh, almost choked there. Well, I would say this was mostly a success, despite what it looks like at this moment. But we did learn a few things today. Number one, if a recipe says you need a candy thermometer, you should probably have one. Number two, if you are going to be boiling something that is inherently very sticky, put it in a big enough pan. And number three, we should all appreciate the professional caramel apple makers in our life because this stuff is difficult. But you should make these for yourself because they are very fun and I feel very accomplished and also very hopped up on sugar. But thank you for so much for watching. What? What? Thank you so much for watching this episode of Cassidy Delicious. Let me know in the comments below if you try out making these yourself or what I should make in the next episode of Cassidy Delicious. And have a very happy, safe, and sweet Halloween. Good boy. Get it? That was like boo, like a ghost, but goodbye. Whoops, I left this recording while I went to go change batteries on my GoPro for like two minutes. A waste of space. Storage space. But I am just a waste of space. If anyone's looking to make like 50 caramel apples, just let me know in the comments below. I'll send these to you. Probably won't actually send them to you. Oh good, now the refrigerator starts to be quiet. Thank you. It's a little late though. Mmm. That's really good. I could probably just dip apples in the brown sugar and not be unsatisfied. <laughs> oh man, that is a strong scent of something. I feel like a fairy godmother.